Good morning, Britain. As bosses warn, the NHS is at full stretch. Another 1.7 million vulnerable people in England are told to start shielding after scientists reveal factors such as ethnicity, weight and where they live can push people into the high-risk category. Loneliness, missing friends and missing opportunities will be looking at the reality of life in lockdown for our children as it's revealed nearly one billion days in the classroom have been missed in England due to school closures. Eurovision winner and former Bucks Fizz star Cheryl Baker reveals the lows of lockdown and why cancelled gigs have led her to financial ruin. And as Anton Deck return this weekend for Saturday Night Takeaway, we'll be finding out what surprises they have in store for guests Gary Barlow and Harry and Jamie Redknapp. Another mild day ahead with rain in the south. The outlook is staying mild for many of us, but there is more rain on the way. All the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Wednesday, 17th of February, 2021. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Sean Fletcher. Good morning, it's six o'clock, good to have you with us. We're with you all the way through until 9am with Ben and Kate here from 6.30. First though, our top story. NHS trust bosses have warned the Prime Minister not to lift lockdown restrictions in England until hospitals can cope with any increase in COVID cases. Boris Johnson will reveal his roadmap out of lockdown on Monday. Uh, meanwhile, another 1.7 million people are being told to shield after scientists discovered factors such as ethnicity and even living in a deprived area could put them at higher risk. Well, Nick Dixon is at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. Good morning to you, Nick. Uh, NHS trusts are warning the health service will remain at full stretch for at least another six weeks.